All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fork Over the Ring, where we all know the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And today we're going to start part one of our Blue Apron review. Um, and today's meal is going to be the seared chicken and creamy couscous with an olive and raisin sauce. So it's something that I typically wouldn't make, but it was pretty interesting to try. Um, so first up, we're going to do is go over what we got. Like, similar to the other review um, package that I did, when you order Blue Apron, you go ahead and you pick what day you want it delivered and what time. Also, it comes with three recipes, a juicy burger, which we already reviewed for the last box, so I'm not going to do it again, um, salmon, and then, of course, this seared chicken and creamy couscous. I do think that my discount link still works, so I am going to put it below. And you guys just kind of let me know what you think. Also in the box, it comes with like a little information about the grains and where everything is grown. So that it's pretty good to know where your food's coming from. And then it just shows you all the ingredients with inside, similar to before. Um, so for this meal, what it starts off with is going to be two stalks of lettuce, two cloves of garlic, two boneless chicken breasts, a half a cup of couscous. Um, it comes with olives. It says creme frances, whatever. It ain't nothing but sour cream. Um, golden raisins, tomato paste. Baldros Blanc, which I'm assuming is pretty much just olive oil and red crushed pepper flakes. So first you start off, you're going to crush, um, or crush, huh? you're going to chop up your veggies. So I'm going to start off by cutting up my lettuce. I don't know what that was. I don't know why I stopped that, but whatever. My nails look cute at least. Um, yep, so we're going to go ahead and chop that on up. I did do this pretty lazy. I couldn't find my big cutting board, so I was just kind of going for it. Then you're going to go ahead and chop up your garlic. And guys, um, I did it again this way because it is the way they do it. They tell you to do it on the paperwork. But honestly, you could have just put that garlic. I like to put my garlic in the blender because it just gets it up the way I like it. Be chopped up really small. And then for the olives, because I have never had to pit olives, I did have to figure this out, guys. So I figured the best way to do it was just to smush it how you would to open garlic. And then just peel the seed out and cut it up. If you guys have a more effective or better proper way to do it, let me know. I might look up Gordon Ramsay's way of doing it. I'm sure it's on the internet somewhere. Because I don't. I know I did it wrong, but hey, it gave me the result I needed. They were chopped and went on seed in it. And then to start on your couscous, because I've never had couscous before, guys. This is very exciting for me. Um, You are just going to simply start by putting your water in a dish. And you let it heat up just for a little bit, and you are going to start off by adding the entire um, package of couscous. And I will put the measurements below. And then you're going to add salt and pepper. Mix it up a little bit. Now, the ingredients did call for, um, how much? It, it, it calls for a half a cup of water. I did add more, because although I never had it, it just didn't seem like that was enough. So I ended up adding more later. As you see me doing now. So instead of a half a cup, I actually ended up adding a full cup of couscous. But I also do that with rice. Whatever the ingredients say, I always add more. But you let that sit and cook for about five to six minutes. And I couldn't find a top that fit, so don't talk about me. Next, um, in a pan, you're going to put some olive oil. And you're going to start by adding your chopped celery and your garlic. And you're going to let those cook for about three to four minutes, pretty much until they're soft. But you always know when they're done because you can start to smell it like... Um, I, my, my rule is if I can start to smell the goodness of it, I can go ahead and start adding my other recipes to it or my other ingredients to the recipe. After you add that, we're going to go ahead and add in the, t the tomato paste that they gave us. And it was a little tricky to get out, but I got it. And then you're going to add the red chili flakes. It's to, it's to taste how much you want. I like my stuff really spicy. Which I'm sure you guys, have, if you haven't noticed, you will notice. Um, so I just kind of added a lot of it. Then after you add your paste, you're going to add one-fourth cup of water to it. So you let that cook for about two to three minutes. Then you're going to add more water. Because it's going to make almost like a sauce that we're going to put over the couscous later. So it was interesting to do it this way. Because it's not something that I would have done. But this is now a technique that I think I will take over. Which is to let the tomato paste cook a little bit. And then add your water later to make the sauce. You add salt and pepper to taste again. And voila, I drop plastic in it. Don't judge me, whatever. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to add that to your rice. Then I added in my crema flecha, 
really want to put cream cheese. And as you'll see, I'm putting the hot um, couscous in there just to get it all out. And I will say, because I did do a taste test like prior to adding the cream in it, it did give it a nice, like a little, a little more of an airy taste. Next, um, you're going to have your chicken salted on both the front and the back, salt and pepper. And you let them cook for a few minutes on each side, just until they are done. So I do, I may say four to six minutes on each side. I did about maybe eight minutes to each side. And that is sprayed olive oil because I didn't, couldn't find the bottle. I've been a little lazy. <laughs> but um, next what you're going to do is you're going to add your raisins, your messed up, cut up olives. And you're going to go ahead and mix those all up together. You're going to add the remaining of your chicken, uh, I said chicken, uh, of your red pepper flakes. And... You're going to let that cook for a little bit. Add your water. And the re and whatever that actual little block of stuff is, I'm going to actually look that up in YouTube. or Google it and put it in the description somewhere. And then that is going to be your sauce after you add your salt and pepper. Here is the finished meal. It actually was pretty good. My brothers enjoyed it. I probably would have enjoyed the chicken a little or marinated. Um, but besides that, it was pretty good. So you guys let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you so much for tuning in.